It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I do films because I like big speakers. I like hearing things on big speakers. I'm not really that interested on in hearing anything on my laptop speakers. I mean, what we just did on Interstellar on purpose was not release the soundtrack the way it usually works. It's where you release it two weeks before the movie comes out. Because I wanted people to hear it on big speakers for the first time. And, um, I'm not saying this won't work on little speakers, but this, you know, go big or go home. With film, particularly, you, you know, you want these subtleties that allows you to do something that keeps things moving, but it's not really getting in anybody's way, you know. So, you know, you don't want to be making big movements of big chords and things coming in or whatever. You, you need some subtlety, but, but you can't just sit there flat because everybody will just get bored. So you want some modulation in there, you want some colour added, and stuff like this really allows that to happen. There are certain sections in Dark Knight which are just so low frequencies that we did an edition of the soundtrack on vinyl and they kept sending it back saying, why is there 20 second silence in, in this thing? And we kept listening to our master going, no there isn't. And then after, after about the third time we realized what they were talking about. It wasn't cutting to vinyl. And they, they, they just can't hear that bottom end because that's all it is. But, you know, luckily I get to work in a world where I'm allowed to go and make really, really, really love sounds. It, it can have the presence on the big screen, I think, because you'll feel the sound when, even though it might be just one guy with his synth, but they have that presence that can, that can translate and own the room, if you like. In my job, the only thing you have is you, you stick to the storytelling. You know, hang on for dear life to whatever the story is we want to tell and whatever the metaphor is that I have to use. I mean, you know, the stuff on the screen tells you, you know, leads you somewhere. The film is the king and you're constantly following where it's telling you it wants to go, you know. and. That's the great thing about it, because you, you start off with this blank page and you've got to end up with a full colour picture, if you like, but you've no idea what that picture is when you start out, and depending on which instrument you start out on could completely change where you end up. And something like this really gives you that opportunity, I think. You know, for something that actually has such a limited amount of devices, there's an enormous amount of sounds you can discover on it. I truly think that there, there, there are a lot of things that nobody's ever heard because we haven't made them yet. And the greatest thing is, you know, <laughs> when you're fiddling around and you just make a mistake and something completely amazing happens because you just patch the wrong thing into the wrong hole. You move a patch cable and may have a vague idea of what's going to happen, but Really, I mean, it, 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 it's got a journey of discovery, you know, and so I like say it might not be what you want, but what you get makes you think, oh, that's something different. I could, I could go in that direction, you know, which, which really, if you're doing things and it's changing on you while you're doing it, that's invigorating you and, and, and giving you different options and of ways to go. You know, so much of what we do is try to escape muscle memory and try to come up with something fresh. And when you have to look at music, not as 88 switches this way, but this, it becomes a completely different thing. That's what these machines give you the ability to, to do, to be yourself and express yourself through the components that are in there and the sounds that you can dial out of it, you know, and that's, well, it's always good to engage your brain, you know, so um, something that, that stimulates in a different way, I think it's a great thing and there's a lot of fun to be out of the air. I remember having to make that decision, you know, was it going to be a car, was it going to be a Mini Mark? I still don't drive. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, the, that's the beauty of, um, uh, 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 I guess, of like, 
handmade gear to some degree. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a life in it. Look, if you take this music thing seriously, you want to go and have a serious box of tricks. Simple as that.